assalamu alaikum hey guys uh, today i am coming with another video so in this uh, tutorial we are going to learn uh, interchange how to uh, design interchange view loop okay so the last video we learned uh, the simple alignment with interchange and uh, uh, u loop and also and also uh, today we are going to learn same thing but uh, with uh, design okay profile uh, with profiles so if you make uh, good practice you can be a good uh, in civil 3d okay but first of all i have a surface here and then i have two line uh, two polyline now i want to convert this polyline into uh, alignment okay so first of all i just click the alignment properties uh, alignment drop down menu and then cre uh, select the create alignment uh, from object okay i just select uh, this polyline and hit enter see the arrow uh, zero zero start from this way and hit enter again now to just give this name Road uh, one, and then uh, select alignment levels. I just select major and minor. Uh, I want to give this twenty five and hundred. Uh, at uh, remove the uh, uncheck at curve between tangent because there is no curve. Click OK. So now you will see your alignment is done and alignment number two select the alignment hit enter twice root number two and check the root curve and then okay it is it's okay just click OK. So I have now two alignments. Now I want to create profile. First of all, I'm going to create pro uh, profile from surface. I just click this uh, create surface, select root number one, and then surface. Click add. See the stations. Okay. Draw profiles. Just create profile view. I want to click just create profile view. This is my profile. Look like uh, lo looks like this, and then this is the surface level. Okay. This is uh, I'm not going to show you the perfect way design, but I want to show you the way you can uh, draw profiles and uh, you loop interchange connection and sit entrance like this. Okay. Follow my steps. So first of all, I just uh, click mouse right button and edit the profile style. Going to grid, I just click vertical, flip vertical grid, and then omit grid padding. So flip horizontal. Follow the steps, okay? And then a horizontal axis coming here, 25. Also interval, 25. Uh, vertical axis I just give this to interval okay. so <coughs> this is the uh, surface I want to change the color of surface just uh, click mouse right button and then select shift select all of these change the color just <coughs> one thing I want to change and to give this uh, graph uh, grid suppose here to and here to okay. so it's not enough but it's okay. so I want to create design I just select the profile get uh, profile creation tools click ok select from layout uh, 
drop down menu draw tangent with curve the first point I just select this one <coughs> and to give the second point and the uh, third point is there okay hit enter so I have to change uh, my layout, uh, profile style to red color select one line and then shift select the color and then and then so I want to change also length of curve select and to give 200 millimeter to better smooth uh, curve close so this is my uh, main road uh, which is road number one I want to create uh, another road second road profile I just click the select to add draw create select here now design road number two draw tangent with curve This is the profile two and to just change my length of curve all of this two hundred fifty enter two hundred fifty and two hundred okay. Now I
this is okay right now now i want to uh, see my address uh, rate over here i want to see the level i just select the profile and see the launch head just uh, click the add question uh, <coughs> and select uh, the second road hit enter see the menu and then un uncheck the surface so, uh, from Check all. I just guys uh, now I have created uh, two alignment which is main road one main road two uh, also I create profiles main road one main road two now I am going to create uh, a loop uh, which is the first loop here now you follow my step okay this is the main road and this is the main road one main road two okay first of all i want to create connected alignment uh, like a loop so this is the alignment uh, menu if you see here uh, small drop down menu just click like this and uh, come down here you will find create connected alignment just click like this and then select first one is uh, main road one okay you remember where you uh, the first click you if you select the first road this one okay it will uh, zero zero coming like this okay if you select this one and then zero zero coming like this you remember that now i am going to click the main road one and then click second click is main road two and then uh, uh, create alignment pick location i want to pick location just click like this and then you will see the arrow okay the first arrow and then second arrow and this is the location arrow and hit enter again the menu is coming the connected alignment if you want to give the name i will give the name loop one okay design criteria first one is general and then second one second tab is uh, design criteria i want to change design speed 30 km per hour and then third one is parameters so fourth one is connected profile okay if you do not have profiles uh, with main roads you cannot uh, have uh, this uh, access okay this step access you must create profile first and then you have access okay now i am going to uh, click the parameter from parameter tab i'll uh, select uh, in this uh, curve group type I'll select spiral curve spiral okay and then curve radius I'll give 60 kilometer uh, 60 uh, 60 meter okay and then uh, the spiral parameter you will uh, find here three dot button like this you if you just click like this and then spiral setting here a spiral type you will find a lots of uh, uh, style from here flow thread and sign half web cubic blouse cubic parabola like this and now uh, you can choose your uh, what you want and then i choose just cloth word. and then the spiral in see the spiral in this is the spiral in from here to here 75 meter and then out is 75 meter okay uh, i keep as it is i do not change anything if you want change uh, you can change uh, with your uh, calculation and then click ok now radius is done and spiral parameters also done now i uh, select the loop okay not flat i just uh, choose degree of curvature 180 degree because i want to create loop and then this is the offset okay offset uh, you, you should remember this thing offset and then uh, if i have uh, 40 meter roads or 50 meter roads suppose this is the center line if i have 50 meter roads i'll uh, coming uh, from center 25 right side and 25 left like this also 25 25 divide 2 divide okay and then uh, this is the offset i'll change 25 meter also 25 meter 
and this is the connection overlapping overlap in which is uh, I want to give 5 meter overlap also the connection overlap out 5 meter later you will understand what is the overlap I think you know ok so after I finish this if I click ok my loop is almost done ok I just click ok so now my loop is done because uh, I, I create offset from center 25 meter also from this side 25 meter and see my 0 0 start from this way ok because I first click uh, I just first click this road and then second click this road ok you, you, you should remember this also if uh, anything happened uh, suppose if you click like this ok uh, left side let's see what happens see if uh, something happened like this with you just click uh, the alignment and coming here alignment uh, properties click alignment properties change the offset like this both and then you, you, you should uh, see this ok click ok it's ok ok nothing uh, nothing if, if you do uh, wrong something you can fix also and then uh, oh one thing I should uh, show you ok I will show you here come again with the loop 2 like that the first I select this alignment and then second this and then location you will uh, see the uh, zero zero start from here ok and hit enter now I am uh, giving this uh, loop to ok I am giving this name loop to and then I am coming with uh, design uh, criteria per kilometer per hour parameters spiral I choose a spiral 60 ok 180 degree everything is ok from here I will choose the left side because this is going to left side uh, like this ok and then uh, in this uh, connection profile connected profile I should choose from here see the first one is first one is create profile for connected alignment and then you will see the connection in profile the automatic uh, civil 3d automatic choose the layout 3 which is my uh, second road profile uh, name layout two, uh, layout 3 and then there is a cross slope I want to cross slope I want to change cross slope minus 1.5 percent if uh, delta no need to delta elevation ok the second profile is connection out profile which is 4 uh, sorry this is my uh, profile number road number 1 and then this is the profile road number which is a layout for because uh, the civil 3d choose automatically ok this is dynamically uh, you cannot do anything with this also you can change if you want to change something like this you just click this or click from list you can change but uh, you only have two profiles ok so cross slope also I need 1.5 percent and then profile name ok if you want to give the profile name you can just write here and uh, profile name and curb length radius you can fix from here see the list uh, circular curb or parabola keep parabola curb length this is the 50 meter ok everything set now I am just click ok after click you will see the curb is done uh, loop is done loop 1 loop 2 ok now I am doing also loop 3, loop 4 a little bit faster Fast. Okay. same procedure I just uh, change the name also uh, loop 3 design criteria also you can change later design criteria, speed, everything you can change later no problem
So I'll uh, pick this one is right side. Everything is set. Okay. Just click OK. Now there is one remaining. Click like this. Press this one and then end. Hit enter. Okay. Look for. Look for. Prison criteria 330 kilometer and then a spiral curve. Everything is set. Just here, I am to change the left side because it will coming like this, and everything is okay. So my loop is done. Now I want to create a profile for this loop here. The first one is I want to uh, coming here the profile menu. I just click the drop down menu. I choose create surface profile like this and then the first one is I want to create loop one which is I have there is design see this is the uh, design profile created by uh, civil 3d which is dynamically and this is my surface I just click add to uh, this design with uh, my surface okay surface level I just click add now the there is surface draw profile i just want to create i just want to click the create profile view and choose the location origin like this see the civil 3d uh, done the design with uh, dynamically with uh, civil 3d okay you cannot change anything if you uh, if you want to change anything here it will affect uh, those profiles also if you change anything here it will affect this profile Okay, you can adjust if you adjust here anything it will adjust dynamically automatic so I want to give this uh, design line levels like this see the levels curve and uh, grid breaks I just click the design line and click the mouse right button and uh, coming to edit here see the edit levels just click edit levels the menu is coming and then uh, type type of uh, levels just click the drop down menu you know, uh, first one is see the grid breaks just click and then add and then second one is list curve add and select the set curve and then add if you want to change anything uh, anything uh, your grid break uh, styles level styles just double click these tags and go inside and you can change from here anything you want okay uh, click apply click ok you will find your levels okay this is the dynamically automatic and this is your surface also you know there's uh, this band you can uh, setting with your uh, uh, styles uh, which you will like now I have uh, done with uh, pro loop one remaining three uh, two three four I just uh, uh, quickly loop to just uh, add levels okay. Okay. now look three Remaining one is a uh, loop number four. So 
you know how to create bands okay if you don't know and i have the another video you can go and check how to create bands band sets uh, okay also i will uh, give the link with uh, uh, description now i have uh, all four loops uh, design is finished almost now i want to create the connected element from this to that the this if i uh, select the alignment menu and then coming here create connected alignment also if i select the alignment like this like this you will see the connection uh, connection uh, connected alignment from here okay you know what i can do with this enter give the name give the name you want or keep it as, keep as it is you can uh, give name later no problem so what i'm going to do i just uh, find the design criteria and then give this fit 40 km per hour and curvature uh, i want to Mm, I want to give the curvature uh, select from uh, curvature group circular fillet and then give this uh, curvature radius 450 450 uh, and degree of curvature you just pick this fillet okay 180 degree and then offset also 25 25 and overlapping 5 5 meter okay just click uh, okay now it's done uh, this is the connected alignment uh, which is from here to here 25 meters and from here to here 25 meters okay this is and then this is my second just click a little bit faster okay. everything is okay uh, just here you remember this is the uh, cross lock everything is set uh, 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 everything chosen uh, from uh, civil city choose automatically and I will give this uh, no problem I will change later See, just click and then change from here right side ok so I have two more remaining two more first one and second one give the location 40 kilometer and then everything is okay okay and just okay the last one is remaining first one second one give the location okay okay so my connected alignment is done now it's look like this if i hide uh, the uh, hide the la levels the stations it's, it will look like this now i'm going to create offset from the from my uh, center line 25 meter both side offset just click offset and no need to give any name or uh, i just want to show you the offset how it looks like okay 25 25 25 left 25 right and just click okay you will see this is the connection with slope okay this is the edge of road and this is the center of uh, edge of also uh, loop okay 
this is center line you can uh, give this also say so same like uh, okay just click ok 25 now it's complete it's look like this after uh, and then uh, after you finish corridor or uh, New Jersey or anything uh, with your uh, project you after you finish it it will look like beautiful okay this is I have done with all my alignment and profiles but now I want to create align uh, profiles uh, for connected roads connected alignments okay if I click this one I want to uh, check the name connected alignment connected which is alignment number nine okay and this one may be ten okay this one is eleven and that one is twelve okay let's draw the profile first one the same same procedure okay create surface profile and then coming the first one is connected alignment number nine see there is a, a, a done design design profile by civil 3d see design profile this is the dynamically okay see here this is dynamic if you anything change with your uh, main profiles main roads then it will affect this uh, all 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 of your profiles i just click add draw and then create the profile the first one i want to click this okay this is the this is the road design connected alignment and this is the surface i want to give the levels same procedure the road breaks the levels uh, is done and now number 10 so guys uh, you should give the name uh, alignment name see this is this is not nice you should change this name with your project okay I'm a little bit uh, lazy person. Sorry for uh, everything. Okay. guys uh, remember one thing you can uh, move uh, don't worry about location uh, with your profile okay you can move you, you just select this profile and see the dot here see this is this is the dot button if you click like this uh, it will uh, convert into red color and then you can move wherever you want okay you can move this profile wherever you want you want you can take uh, take with this okay don't worry about location you can move easily the last one is number 12 okay now this is my last profile now I have done uh, with my profiles this is uh, a final design also if you change anything here it will affect this eight profiles it because it's dynamically 
if you do not uh, want dynamic you can change static from dynamic to static then after that you will change the static if you change anything here it cannot affect here and then you can change manually but I think manually is not good if you uh, do dynamically it's better for everyone better design you can make better design now I want to create a corridor for uh, I want to show you how you can uh, create corridor now easy easy for uh, from this you can uh, draw corridor cross section everything you can draw easily uh, step by step but I want to only show you one corridor or two corridor I'll show you how it's look like that's it okay and then uh, after you will see my step by step and then you will make practice inshallah you will uh, get better The uh, now first one is I want to create uh, the main road one and then main road two. What I'm going to do, I just click this uh, corridor menu and then create assembly. I want to give this assembly name bridge B R I D bridge and then keep as everything as it is. Click OK. Select the location. Just click here and then press the control and three together so menu is coming here okay first one is i want to select uh, basic okay, first i want to select civil 3 sub assembly and i want to select the lan here click lan basic I uh, know I want to select len and then select uh, this first one, first one select your uh, assembly and then no I want to remove this I want to just select the basic basic len okay now this is only asphalt I have only asphalt depth of asphalt okay weight and depth 20 centimeter I want to give is only 0.5 slope I want to give 1.5 percent and width I want to give 12 percent uh, 12 meter and then uh, select this one and I want to create mirror because of left left side now I want to select the bridge there is bridge bridge box uh, girder 2 okay I want to change the default deck slope 1.5 percent I want to leave this 1.5 uh, percent okay. and then if you want to anything change from here you can change it. just click the, the uh, sub assembly it will automatically coming after you uh, after you finish this you can change also like this click and then click properties you can change from here okay now this is the New Jersey with the uh, my box Colbert and then I want to create another assembly basic assembly this is the basic assembly and to give this width properties give this width 12 meter uh, okay 10 meter and then 1.5 meter everything keep as it is no problem this side also 10 meter 1.5 meter 
you know you know one thing uh, width of road the land suppose from center to uh, if you want to create a perfect design or perfect corridor you should remember one thing the uh, the standard land is 3.65 meter uh, which is this is the standard land okay one land 3.65 meter the minimum i think uh, 2.8 okay minimum land min uh, 2.8 minimum and maximum maybe 4.25 but standard is uh, 3.65 okay uh, also you can read from uh, ashto uh, you know the ashto ashto code you can read this well you can make uh, design perfectly this civil 3d based on uh, ashto ashto box uh, ashto code okay now i have uh, done with my assembly list i want to create more to uh, assembly i just want to create copy ceo then copy this assembly first i want to rs left side and then copy again this time i want to rs right side why i do this you will understand later no problem and then will give this name ls which is left side ls left side and then i'll give this name right side r s okay i'll make a save this video okay Also, uh, okay. I want to make create, uh, create corridor. I'm just click this corridor and see here create corridor. Click corridor. Give this name as you want, or keep as it is. No problem. I'll just uh, give this name or or the road one. Okay. Select uh, select the alignment corridor road one. And profile it will select automatically. Assembly select uh, the basic assembly, and then uh, you don't do not have a corridor right now. So I just target surface. Select the surface. I have only one surface, and then click OK. There it is. This is a corridor. This is the station. If you want station from 100 or 10, you can type here or you can select from. Uh, just click this and select from a screen. Okay. And this is the end station. This is the uh, frequency. See the three dot. You can change frequency from here uh, for better uh, smooth uh, corridor. I just click OK right now. And I will change later. So, this is my corridor. If you select, I will go to the object viewer. You can see from here. This is my corridor. Okay. The first one corridor. There is the problem. One problem. It will uh, coming out of the alignment. My corridor. So I will give this corridor little bit inside just need click this what's happening okay I just click this like and then parameter coming here select rebuild there it is and the surface I want to rebuild rebuild my surface automatically yeah, because there is some warning rebuild also 
now it's okay warning is gone if i select again object viewer and then right now you will see the problem is gone okay now i want to split from here to here uh, because of i want to create a bridge here over here i just select the corridor and split region select split region click anywhere you want just click like this and then uh, see the offset offset of uh, the road number 2 this is the right side and then this is the left side of road number 2 now my region is done i just escape and coming to corridor and see my region if i select the center you will see this region and i choose the basic assembly to bridge this is the simple way you can do this and click okay. rebuild corridor now you will see your bridge is here okay now i don't i don't want uh, the catch point here if you don't want you can uh, remove from here to here this uh, catch point okay just click uh, split if you click this split just just like this okay follow just like this don't want to uh, show you right now because if i want to uh, show you right now it's uh, took lots of time and then i want to create uh, cor another corridor you can uh, select this corridor and coming corridor you can create all 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 the corridor with one uh, corridor uh, page or you can create separately but uh, okay let's do it uh, for one page just click add baseline and then select from this list alignment select the road number two click ok there it is this is the road number two this is the road number one right now i just want to select the profile okay and then click mouse right button add region and then there is the assembly i want to create uh, click the basic assembly click ok now you'll find there station frequency everything you if you want to change anything you can change and just click the three dot choose the surface for all of uh, your target and then click ok click ok again rebuild now we have two corridors two corridors in one if I select one, it will select automatically two. Now I just click object viewer. It will look like this. But this road is up. This road is going down under the bridge. Let uh, I'll show you. I just click this uh, road and then I want to drive this road because I want to show you how it looks like just click this drive and select the center select the crown because i want to follow the crown road center line click ok this is my road and this is sidewalk this is the catch point just click the play button and it will run for you also you can uh, click loop reverse kilometer speed kilometer okay you can play with this now you will see the bridge and <coughs> this is a bridge and we are going to under the bridge like this Okay, close 
and same like this you can uh, create also corridor for this uh, connected road or for you loop okay i'll show you one for this i just select this uh, corridor or i want to create new corridor uh, with separate as you wish like this create loop uh, connected i think connected uh, connected road alignment number 9 i just click uh, corridor 9 okay and then see the alignment there is also future line you can uh, if you have future line you can select from future line you can create uh, uh, create a corridor from future line now i have selected alignment 9 there is profile 9 assembly i want to choose assembly uh, i want to create left side okay from this way left side so i choose basic assembly left side then target surface click ok click ok rebuild now this is my right side is uh, daylight and that is the uh, left side which is uh, my road connected with this also after you uh, when you uh, design interchange like this you should carefully uh, connect this uh, uh, alignment connected alignment with your edge of road okay you should clean up all of this this is the catch point you cannot uh, do catch point like this you should end of your catch point here and this is the uh, this is the catch point uh, you have and the, the, uh, this uh, catch point is stop here okay remove this catch point from here to here you should remember this okay you should clean up all of your work and it will look better now I'm going to draw this uh, loop corridor I'll with this so now you know uh, this is the separate corridor and that is the one corridor how I how we can draw separate or uh, with together okay uh, now what I'm going to do uh, at baseline and then select the loop one I want to create a corridor in loop one okay and then coming to loop uh, click the loop one click mouse right button add region select assembly uh, assembly uh, also uh, assembly in right side and click the uh, profile loop one everything is uh, okay apply. now there is uh, one problem uh, we do not select the uh, catch point uh, which is a target and frequency is not good if you are coming to object viewer click object viewer you will see it's not good frequency see so i'll uh, make frequency just click like this and come in corridor and see the loop one here is a uh, frequency change the frequency every two meter one draw the lines or smoother just click ok and change the target keep the target surface ok, okay. build so this is the frequency we want but there is over overlapping you should know how to remove overlapping ok so this is this is it okay and this is the way you can uh, design the uh, interchange okay uh, i hope uh, you guys are understand how we can uh, design interchanges thank you for watching and i hope you guys are, you guys are enjoying my videos please uh, if 
you have anything any question you can ask me or you can send me messages or you can follow me with my facebook id uh, please guys don't mind i am i am a lazy person so i cannot uh, make video better than this but i am trying to do but uh, if you support me i will do better okay thank you for watching allah hafiz